Okay, so we've been able to confirm that our simulator is working appropriately and everything is just well set up for us. Now the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and set up our Firebase. So we already know that we are going to be making use of Firebase real-time database to build our Uber clone application. So we need to go to our Firebase console and create a new Firebase project. So I'm going to open up my Google Chrome. So you need to log on to console.firebase.google.com or you need to be able to have a Firebase account is a Gmail account. So if you have a Gmail account, you're able to have something like this. So why you're seeing all of these boxes is because I have different projects I've already created before on this particular account. So we're going to go ahead and make a new project by clicking on this button. So we need to go ahead and provide the name of the project, which is going to be Uber Clone iOS. Alright, so let's go ahead and click on continue. So I don't want to make use of Google Analytics, so I'm going to go ahead and create a project. So this will roughly take a few seconds depending on your internet speed. Okay, so our project has been successfully created. So I'm going to go ahead and click on continue. Alright, so this is the first thing that we see after creating our Firebase project. Now the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and add our app to the Firebase project. As you can see, get started by adding Firebase to your app. So the app that we are building currently is an iOS app. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the iOS icon that we see here. Now what we need to provide is our bundle identifier, which we already declared when we are creating our project. So to find our bundle identifier, we can return to Visual Studio and click on the Solutions Explorer. We're going to drop this down and we're going to open up the info.plist file. All right, so this is our bundle identifier. So I can go ahead and copy all of this and return back to my Google Chrome. And we need to go ahead and paste our bundle identifier here. So this is basically all that we need to do. All of this is optional. So I'm going to go ahead and click on register app. Now the next thing I need to do will be to go ahead and download the configuration file. So this is Google services info.plist. So I'm going to go ahead and download this file. All right. So after that, I'm going to click on next, next. So this is more like the installation or the setup code. That's if you're using Swift, but we are making use of C Sharp. So I'm going to click on Next and continue to console. So after setting this up, the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and set up our Firebase database. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and click on Database. Okay, actually Firebase has two types of database. We can make use of Cloud Firestore or we can make use of real-time database. So I actually like real-time database for this particular type of project. So I'm going to go ahead and click on create database. So we're going to start in test mode and click on enable. So the test mode allows us to easily write and read data to our database without any problems because we are still in test mode. Right, so our database has now been successfully created. So in the next video, we are going to be installing the packages and we take it off from there. So see you in the next class.